then I have to say one positive thing and one negative thing about you. No, I'm good. I don't have space for negativity in my life. I'm, I'm not playing this game, bro. <sighs> Taki! Who are you playing, eh? Guys, honestly speaking, it is now obvious that Taki and Sinaye, they are in a wrong show. Honestly, the way they would take their time to totally scrutinize some games that have been played in Big Brother House before they will know if they are to participate or not. In fact, at some point, Sinaye will even try to go and check if the game is what he will join or not. But Taki will even block out the opportunity to see once he hear the kind of game it is, he will just make up his mind and say, no, this is not a game for me. I cannot play the game. I will not go. Guys, somebody that went into Big Brother show, honestly speaking, I really think that Big Brother has to be informing his housemates what is actually required from them when they are going into Big Brother show. If you are going there and you are scared to make mistakes, you are scared to show who you are, you are scared that your action might be read differently outside the house. The thing that you are even doing, thinking that you are carrying yourself away, guys, People are still criticizing it. People are still looking at it in a certain type of way. Yo, guys, from the look of things now, in Big Brother House, there are three different categories of people. There are people who are in the house to play their game, you know, to fully play their game, no matter how people will perceive it, no matter what it will cost them, they are there to play their game 100%. The likes of Yolanda, Liema, Jared, Mpumi. I think these people, they are there to play their game. We have another gang. This gang, they are podcast gang. You know, they try to analyze. They try to look into how these housemates that I have mentioned are playing their game to tell with the viewers if the game they are playing is being perceived well or not. Guys, honestly, Mac Jr. at some point fall into this category. And the reason why Mac Jr. cannot totally, you know, be included 100% in that category is because he himself, he is seriously playing his game in a way that viewers are swear really like the way he plays his game. Although he is in that category of podcast gang, you know, that talks about how people are playing their game in the house, how viewers will be perceiving it, what viewers will be thinking of those people's game and what have you. I think McGinnor is as well playing a very beautiful game in the house because his game is actually working out for him. However, he is doing it. Honestly speaking, I really like the fact that, okay, viewers are taking it and accepting it from him. So, this podcast gang are Sinaye, Taki Day, Head Podcast Master, Mile and Mac Jr. Guys, honestly speaking, when they are ganged up like this, you know, they are talking about how people play their game, how they perceive it, how we the viewers who are swear perceive it. Honestly speaking, it is sometimes crazy. It is sometimes funny to me that the idea to do analysis on what other housemates are doing. Guys, that is why I said these people, I really think that they are in a wrong show because the way they analyze and talk about their fellow housemates, you know, talking about what way the viewers should perceive of them and how they are playing the game, honestly speaking, it really makes me, you know, wonder if they actually know the game they came for, the show they came for is called reality tv show you are there to live your reality in fact there was a conversation that happened between mac jr and mille where mille was saying nobody in this house know her that she is not even opening up to anybody nobody knows her she knows she is here she is this that she is a good listener she will watch you say a lot of things make full of yourself that is not her business mac jr on the other hand was you know seconding what she was saying that yes that is her person too that he, nobody in the house even know him that the way he is playing his game, this one and that one, blah, 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 yaddy, 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 that he is just in the house to play and get the two million. So if you are not in the house, you know, to rapport with people, to be open to people, to say your story, guys, how will you win this two million round? Because it keeps ringing in my head when I hear Sinaye, Taki, Mac Jr. and Mille, how they are perceiving. Guys, honestly, do they think that they are in a moral show where you have to live up to a certain moral standard for you to win that show? That is that, by the way. Honestly speaking, they did a game, you know. I wanted to point out all these things because, guys, tonight we actually review a whole lot of things about Big Brother South Africa show. Because, guys, honestly, I am going to 
use tonight eviction to judge the kind of people South African are looking for to be in Big Brother show? Are they looking for boring housemates, people that will come to the show, they will be acting as though they are holier than thou, you know, people that come to the show to be to be pretending. Yes, because when you are not living your reality, you are concealing a whole lot of things me, I'm not saying that you shouldn't conceive a whole lot of things or people shouldn't conceive some things. But when you are now throwing it at people's face, making it seem as though you are perfect, you are doing... Guys, honestly, I really think that your honestly, fingers crossed, tonight eviction actually will tell us the kind of people South African are rooting for, the kind of people they really want to be on reality TV show because we the Nigerian that are doing analysis on this show, we are not even voting public, we don't have the power and right to decide who stays and who leaves the house but I really promise all of you guys I really think that if it is Nigerian they like content they like people that are going there to live, you know, their reality in fact, even though you are not living your reality, you are going to tell us that the life you are living there is your 100% reality. Make it seem as though it's your reality. If not, if not, if you are trying to, you know, act as though you are perfect, you are this, being very, very careful and cautious, being very, very careful and cautious not to make mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, you are, you are going to be voted out because nobody is willing to watch such a person. Here in Nigeria, they wouldn't want to watch you. They want people that are going there, you know, to embrace whatsoever personality and character they are portraying to be their true and real self on the show. And the last set of people are the gossip gang. They are neither hot or cold. The likes of Z, Young Papi, Willy, Chuenza, else. Guys, Chuenza, I really think that he is the most talented gossip in that house. Like, the way he will gossip around without even... Guys, like, Chuenza will be gossiping his gossip gang with the non-gossip gang. And based on how talented he is in that gossip, nobody is even nominating him during nomination process. And it is even because of the fact that he was used to replace Jared by Willie. Honestly speaking, I feel Chuenza wouldn't have been up for possible eviction. In fact, T up to week 9. And the gossip is actually working for him like the way he will gossip Yolanda to Z. After some few moments, he will gossip Z to Yolanda. Guys, it is it is only pro experts that can do all of that. Then for Mitch, Makeke, Papa Ghost and Lerato, I do not put these four people in one click or one group because guys, honestly speaking, they have changing personalities. Like these three categories, you can find all of them there. They are not active member in a particular category. So they are playing their game perfectly where they are gossip gang and they are as well podcast member in that house but the only difference with their own is just that they are more on a reactive side you know they wait for energy to be given to them before they will know how to react at that particular point in time honestly aside that they can fit in in all the categories that i just mentioned earlier based on all of these that we've talked about which of these has made you feel be going home this Sunday. Guys, you know, this housemate, based on all the content, based on all the things they have displayed in the house, who do you really think deserve a spot after Sunday life eviction? For me, I personally think that the likes of Choenza, Mille, Taki might be going home. Well, fingers crossed, honestly speaking, Big Brother and Zamzi can be a shocker. Let's hope and see how tonight actually turn out. Thanks for watching to this point.